Hey everyone! Today I'm going to be painting a few scenes from Taylor Swift's music video for her song Cardigan, which I absolutely love. It's so beautiful and the forest scenery is right up my alley, so I knew that I wanted to paint a few scenes. So the paint I'm going to be using today is gouache and I actually have two different kinds of gouache that I will be using. I'm going to use traditional and mine is by M. Graham and I'm also going to be using some acrylic gouache by Holbein. And I'm using my Moleskine sketchbook for these paintings. So my first step is using washi tape to tape off the edges, that way they're nice and clean at the end, I don't have to worry about getting paint all over the place, and it's the best feeling to peel up that tape at the end, so already looking forward to that. Um, so I'm going in first with a very light background, and I'm using traditional gouache for this part. So traditional gouache is really cool, if you've never heard of it, it's a really fun paint. So it's kind of like watercolor, but it's opaque. So once you layer it on top, you can't see the layers underneath. And it's really unique because once it's dry, you can go back with a wet paintbrush and it doesn't matter if it's been dry for like a few minutes or even for a few years. If it's traditional gouache, you can go with a wet paintbrush and you can lift that paint right up. It reactivates with water. So you can mix colors together, you can lift colors off, and so it's just a really unique paint. Um, you either love it, like me, or you hate it, like a lot of people. <laughs> but once you get used to it, it does come in handy. If you have a palette of gouache colors that you've already mixed and you put it away, you can just use water, reactivate it, and get those same colors. So I love gouache. I'm a big fan. If you've never tried gouache, this is your sign to go out and try it. I love gouache. Acrylic gouache, I'm gonna use a little bit um, in this painting, not a ton, but acrylic gouache is kind of like gouache mixed with acrylic paint. So once acrylic gouache is dry, you cannot reactivate it with water. Um, it's permanent. And so, you know, it has like its good points and bad points. Um, I'm using both and I kind of mix them together a little bit, which you're not really supposed to do, but it doesn't really matter for this illustration. It's just in my sketchbook, so who really cares? Um, but yeah, it's mostly traditional gouache. So the hardest part of this painting was doing the water coming out of the piano, which you will see in just a minute. And it was really hard because I had to make the water look like it was see-through and moving. And so you can see, I kind of start by adding some, like, I guess, movement lines with the blue, going back with a really light brown to make it look see-through and then going back over it with more blue. And I actually really like how this turned out. I think it was really effective. So not to pat myself on the back or anything, but A plus for that. cat. She was mad that I was not painting her. So 
So in the second scene, I use gouache kind of in a different way than I did on the top painting. You'll see it a little bit in the background and a lot in the moss. I'm kind of using it as a watercolor. Um, so I'm getting the paper really wet and then kind of dropping in different colors that they mix together, they kind of swirl together, and then create this really cool texture. So it works really well for like very soft backgrounds and then that very springy texture of the moss. It works really well. So I had never painted in my moleskin sketchbook before. I had only used it for drawing and it didn't really hold the paint too well. I mean, it was gouache, so it was fine, but it definitely would not be good for watercolor. The paper is super smooth, and so it kind of just sat on the paper a long time and got it really wrinkled. And so you can't really tell in the video, and it still looks fine, you know, but I just probably would not use my moleskin to paint in again. So if you do have a moleskin sketchbook, it's really great for dry media, but for painting, it is not the best. And maybe it's different with acrylic paints. Um, you use less water with acrylic paint, so I can imagine it would be a little bit better, but for gouache, it was not ideal. Peeling off the tape is the best. So here it is. I really love how it turned out. I think it looks so nice. I love the colors and it was really fun to paint. So thank you for watching. I will see you next time and have a nice day, whatever you're doing. See ya.